Hey, Mr. Estrada here. Our aim for the video is how do we determine if a function is one-to-one -one and how do we determine if a function is onto? So first, our definition for a one-to-one -one function. A one-to-one -one function is a function in which every x value has a unique y value. Keyword, unique y value. This definition implies that y values should not be repeated. So let me give you an example of a one-to-one -one function. f of x equals 3x minus 4. Notice that every x value has a unique y value. y values are never repeated in the range. Here, we have a function that's not one-to-one. -one. Notice that y values repeat. For example, the point 0, 2 and the point 4, 2, they are ordered pairs with the same y value. That cannot happen in a one-to-one -one function. Therefore, our second example here to the right is not a one-to-one -one function. One of the ways you can tell from the graph if it's a one-to-one -one function is to perform a horizontal line test. A horizontal line drawn anywhere on the graph should intersect the graph at only one point. Look at our second example here to the right. It's not one-to-one -one because the horizontal line intersects it at two points. That's because y values are repeating. Now you try it. Which of these functions below are one-to-one -one functions? So our first example is not one-to-one. -one. It does not pass the horizontal line test. Our second example to the right over here is one-to-one -one because it passes the horizontal line test. The horizontal line anywhere on the graph will only intersect it at one point. Try this one. This time you're given a diagram. Is the function illustrated below a one-to-one -one function? It is not one-to-one -one because the x elements 3 and 4 share the same y value. That means that a y value is repeating because if you were to just rewrite this diagram as ordered pairs, you can see clearly that the y value 3 repeats. Okay, let's move on to onto functions. Onto functions are functions in which the range takes up all of the available values in a given set. So let's look at our first example to the left. The available values in the given set B are 4, 2, and 5. Does the range take up all of those values? Yes, it does. Therefore, it is on to. Look at our second example to the right. The available values in the set are 4, 2, 5, 8, and 1. However, the range only takes up 4, 2, and 5. 8 and 1 are not used. Therefore, this is not on 2. Remember, on 2 functions are functions in which the range of the function takes up all of the available values in a given set. Is f of x equals 3x minus 4 on to where? So we're only going to focus on the part that applies to the range. That's this part. And that fancy r means all real numbers. And what it's saying is that all of the available values for the range are all real numbers. So to answer this question, is f of x equals 3x minus 4 on to 
you have to think about it. Does the range take up all real numbers? The answer is yes. It's on to because the range takes up all of the available values in the given set. In this case, it's all real numbers. Is g of x equals x squared minus 2 on to where? Again, what are the available values? All real numbers. Does the range take up all real numbers? Well, let's think about, about it. The range of this parabola is all real numbers greater than or equal to 2. But is that all real numbers? It's not. Because all the real numbers less than negative 2 are not included in the range of this parabola. So that means it's not taking up all the values in the given set. So it's not onto.